Hello again ladies. Today I have a little craft project or sewing project for you to try if you're interested. I am making these lacy, frilly, um, kind of scrunchies. To get started you'll need a hair tie. I'm using the snagless ones um, and I'm using a lighter colour so that it doesn't show through too much. And I'll be using a very delicate cream coloured thread. You can go for something a little bit thicker such as I have in this pink one but um, it will affect the overall appearance and the amount of work that you have to do. Obviously the thicker the yarn the quicker you'll be able to complete your project. Um, now I have a 2mm crochet hook here and so I'm going to start by just tying a loop in the thread. making sure it's nice and tight and then I will just trim off this excess. Okay, so taking the hair tie, I'm going to keep the thread around the back and then I'm going to reach around the front with my hook grab the thread and and then once I've sort of leveled the hook I'm going to grab it from the back so notice that I'm going under the thread and then I'm going to pull it all the way through through both loops and then I will just continue doing this many times so around the bottom of the thread pull it through level up your hook and then around the bottom of the thread and pull it through both loops. Then you'll start to cover the hair tie with the thread and so it disguises the hair tie and once you get used to it you'll work up a bit of speed. So just keep going until you get all the way around the hair tie. And then even then you may like to stretch it out and push it up a little bit just so that it bunches up a bit better and covers the hair tie more thoroughly. Okay, so I've made it all the way around the hair tie. Okay, I'll bring it a bit closer. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to do a single crochet in each little stitch here. Um, it's quite fine but I will use this to try and point out what I'm doing. So uh, if I stretch it out you can see a bit more clearly each individual stitch. So see how you've got the loop going crossways, this little one here. So this is one stitch and this is this is one stitch and so it, you would put your crochet hook into each stitch. So we're doing essentially what we did before but instead of going around the elastic we're going to go through each stitch. So that would be... Oh, the first one's always a bit hard as it sort of disappears down the side. Yeah, that one. So I'm going to put my hook under it bring it through, hook under and bring it through both. And I'm going to do that again with the next stitch. So the next stitch is just here. I'm going to grab the thread, pull it through, grab the thread again, pull it through both hooks that's called a single crochet and I will be doing that all the way around and the idea behind doing this row of single crochet is just to try and spread the loops evenly around the hair tie 
because um, being that the thread is so fine it's it's shifting around a little bit especially as I stretch the hair tie so I just want to give it a little bit more structure before we continue any further creating anything very decorative I'll show you a few more stitches and then I will show you once I have gone all the way around the hair tie Okay, so I'm back where I started and so these are the first stitches that I did doing the single crochet around. So what I'll do to close this row off, I'll put my hook through the top of the first single crochet stitch that I did, pull it through, I'll get this loop that I've just pulled through. Instead of leaving it on my hook, I'm going to pull it straight through that one. So that kind of closes closes it off for me. Um, the loops around the hair tie are now much more evenly distributed, thankfully. So that row of single crochet did the trick. And it's still got the ability to stretch, thanks to bunching those stitches up nicely. So now to work on some more decorative stitching and to give it that more of a, a lacy feel to it, I'm going to first of all loop two then I'm going to wrap my hook I'm going to wrap this, the thread, the yarn around the hook just as I usually do by going under and then I will put the hook through the first stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through. Then I will grab the yarn again. So I have three loops on my hook and I've just gone and added a fourth. I take this fourth loop and take it through the first two loops. Then I'll grab the yarn again and then I'll pull it through these two loops. Then I'm going to do a chain one, so I will wrap it around the hook and pull it through the one. So what I've done here is I've made a double crochet stitch and then just a chain stitch. So I'm going to continue that pattern. I'm going to do a double cro a crochet stitch Popping it through there. Grab the yarn again, pull it through the first two loops, grab the yarn again, pull it through the two remaining loops. Chain one by wrapping, pulling it through. Then I'm going to do again another double crochet stitch. by grabbing the yarn, pulling it through the first two loops, grabbing the yarn again and pulling it through the remaining two loops, then chaining one. And so that is the pattern that I'm going to continue all the way around the hair tie until I reach this point again. So I'll show you when I've done that.
Okay, I've just made it all the way around and I've just done the one chain after the double crochet. So I'm going to close that as I did with the previous row, collecting the yarn and then just taking it directly through. So there, this is what it looks like so far. So now I'm going to make it a little bit more decorative. It is still looking fairly plain right now. Just going to chain one. Then I'm going to do into this gap here. Just going to do a double crochet. Then I'm going to do another double in the same gap. I'm going to chain two. Then do again into the same hole two more double crochet. I'm going to miss one chain stitch and move to the next chain stitch, this gap here. I'm going to do two more double crochet into this gap. I'm going to chain two again and then I'm going to do another two double crochet into the same gap. I am simply doing two double crochet into this gap. So if you'll notice I'm I'm just missing one each time just to open out between the two bunches. And so that should give a very pretty effect. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the same gap. And you can start to see the pattern already. So we're going to go all the way around until we get back to the start again of that row. Okay, so we're back where we started now. I'm going to pop my hook through this stitch and then um, that will be a slip stitch. So I'm going to go straight through, oh, that's a bit tight, yeah. like this. And that just closes it up. This next row is going to be very similar to the one we've just done and now I'm going to continue a few slip stitches until I reach the center of each um, little decorative pattern. So I will do a slip stitch here, so just going through without doing any extra loops and then one more here hooking the hooking the thread and then pulling it straight through the loop so now we're in the center of this little ornamental pattern so I'm going to chain two just to give me some height I'm going to do five double crochet into the one gap in the center here so you ready Yep. 
that's two. This is the, the little decorative edging we're doing. So I'm going to now see that little point where each decorative pattern joins on to the other. I'm going to slip my hook into that gap in between them. So, okay. So I said I was going to do five, but I've decided that's not quite enough, so I'm going to put another two in to make it seven altogether. This thread is quite fine. Okay, now I'm going to do a slip stitch in the in the gap between e between these two patterns. So every rip, you've got that little sort of arch shape and between those arches you've got that gap. That's where I'm going to be putting a slip stitch. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a slip stitch or not. Um, okay, and so now I'm going to be doing seven double crochets into the center of the next ornamental pattern. to do another um, yeah yeah it's a, just a single crochet and there you go so I'm going to carry on doing that all the way around okay <laughs> that was took me quite a while just on the last shell now and now I'm going to do the single crochet in this spot here and then a slip stitch here because this is unattached. This is where we started. Come on. Trying to keep it fairly tight. Okay, so that ladies is the and that is the final step so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this thread and then just tie it so that it won't come unraveled and I'll do it a few more times just to be sure pulling it tight now I could just trim it there but I don't really want to do that. I'm going to thread some of this um, just along the top just to keep it neatly out the way. I'm just going to weave it in and out along the top here. Yeah, so I'm just going to trim it here so it's just not so noticeable. There we are. That's quite discreet. There we have our lace decorative hair tie. So if you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up so that I know which videos you enjoy the most. And I was thinking about doing a series of small handmade gift ideas. So if that sounds like something you'd want to see, do let me know in the comment section below so that I can um, accommodate that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.